nice. This fashionista over here. So we're stopping at home before doing some more Black Friday shopping at the stores that weren't open last night. I'm just coming home from my Mandarin lesson. If you guys didn't know, I'm learning Mandarin. Everyone says it's super hard. I've memorized the characters pretty quickly. It's pronunciation that's really hard. Or how is learning Mandarin similar and different from learning other languages so far? Um, similar in that you have your vocabulary and pronunciation and you do drills and that kind of thing. But what's totally different is that pretty much everything else. So you have the characters, you learn it in pinyin, which is basically using the letters we do, but then you also learn the actual Chinese characters. And then just the fact that the grammar really isn't difficult to me, like it's kind of the same as English, but the fact that it's a tonal language is really hard because there are four tones. And if you use the wrong one, you're going to say a different word. So for That's example, there's na, which is which, and then there's na, which is that. <laughs> if anyone's interested though, Duolingo just, just introduced their Mandarin lessons, so that might be a good way to start. So Adam and I decided to do the sponsor a kid for Christmas because my building has one of the little, well it's not a angel tree, but it's like a little garland of stuff. So we're gonna do that. And I may be posting or filming and posting a video later about like adopt a kid for Christmas because I see that a lot. And I think that using sponsor a family or sponsor a kid's better phrasing. So undecided if I'm actually gonna do that segment on my channel, but probably, because why not? Unboxing. I was approached by a company on Instagram. They offered me a really good discount. Wow, are I you like, like, like a discounts. model or something? I'm a little salty that they didn't approach me, but. I don't see men's options on their websites. So Vibe LA, that's who messaged me. They sell sunglasses. It's a nice box. It's a nice box. So I just got some aviators. Whoa. Look cool. Very. Wait, stay still, I need to fix my hair. Cool. Vibe LA. They, I think they only have women's options. I don't think any of them are polarized. They are a cheaper sunglass option, but they came in like four business days. They have a lot of cute styles and the prices are really good. So check them out. I'll link it down below. Nice. Finish up our second round of Black Friday shopping. Lily threw the towel. I think I'm throwing in the towel now too. When your dog is obsessed with you. Calm down. And you leave for more than like two minutes. Calm down. Calm down. New shoe gang. New shoe gang! It's really tart. Guess you gotta try another one. I'll find it. It's a little bit sour. Ow! You just need me to end. So it's Saturday of Thanksgiving break. Adam's gonna go work, so I'm gonna do some 
studying and we're bringing Grant. It's a wonderful day out. I was just interviewed on a podcast, which is really cool. Um, there's a new podcast being created called Global Adoptee Talk, and we can link that down below. But it's a podcast that is really talking about the adoptees' perspectives and bringing up some uncomfortable topics such as microaggression and racism and all of that. So the the show host found me from my videos and then wanted me to be her special guest on episode two, which will be posted on the third Monday of December. But it was really cool. So we're at Stinson's and Adam's taking a little break. But <clears throat> um, a customer really liked Grant and then asked if he could take a picture of him, which I really appreciated because, so when I'm at Stinson's, I'll tie Grant up and then sometimes I'll run to the counter to talk to Adam and ask for something. And then that's when I see people taking pictures of Grant, like when I'm not there, which just kind of weirds me out. I'm like, I'm completely fine with pay taking pictures of Grant and people taking pictures of Grant, but not when it's done in secret. And when people ask if they can take a picture of him, then I can help them out and get them to look at the camera. So yeah, if you want to take a picture of dogs, you should just ask the owner because it's a lot less creepy. I don't know if you can tell because it's dark, but this car has been trying to back into a spot for so long and they're not doing well. I forgot that presentation wasn't Wingstop's forte. Lily's clearly very distraught over this. 